Question number five, we are told uh, the table below shows the volume of gases contained in a hundred centimeter cube of blood sample tapped at two points on the mammarian uh, circulatory system. So we have the gas, a uh, blood entering lungs, centimeter cube, blood leaving lungs, centimeter cube, so oxygen. So the amount of oxygen in uh, blood entering the lungs is 8.65 centimeter cube. When it is leaving the lungs, it is 20.25 centimeter cube. Nitrogen, uh, when uh, blood entering lungs, it is 0 0.5 and blood leaving lungs, it remains the same. Uh, we have carbon dioxide, uh, blood entering lungs, we have 55.60 centimeter cube blood leaving lungs it is at 1.65 centimeter cube so part a of the question account for the difference in gaseous composition of of we have roman number one blood entering the lungs so we can say uh, blood entering the lungs has lower concentration of oxygen because already the oxygen has been used in the body in the respiration system uh, but higher concentration of carbon dioxide uh, which is, is to be uh, is to be removed in the lungs so that to answer this you can say blood leaving lungs uh, ent blood entering lungs has lower concentration of oxygen concentration of oxygen and higher concentration of carbon dioxide and uh, higher concentration of carbon dioxide or carbon uh, for dioxide which is the same as co2 oxide which is co co2 uh, that is a formula this is because because uh, uh, most of oxygen had been used most of the oxygen has been used has been used during respiration during respiration uh, yielding uh, that is uh, yielding more carbon dioxide so that is the reason why uh, energy, uh, it is a uh, blood entering the lungs to be uh, oxygenated that's why blood leaving the lungs has more concentration of oxygen and lower concentration of uh, carbon dioxide carbon dioxide and blood entering lungs has higher concentration of uh, carbon dioxide which has been generated in the uh, during respiration but uh, Roman number two we account for blood leaving the lungs uh, so we say blood leaving the lungs you can see that there, there is a high a high concentration of oxygen and low concentration of uh, carbon dioxide but the nitrogen remains the same uh, so we can see that we can say that uh, the, the blood has been oxygenated and uh, part of the part of the carbon dioxide has been removed so we can say it, uh, bl the blood has has a uh, it is uh, the blood has lower concentration of uh, 
of uh, carbon dioxide uh, lower concentration of uh, carbon dioxide oxide and a higher concentration of oxygen and higher concentration of oxygen concentration of oxygen since it has been purified it has been purified and oxy uh, or rather oxygenated uh, the volume of the volume of nitrogen nitrogen remains the same remains the same uh, since it is not used up in, in respiration since it's not used in respiration so that's how you answer that blood uh, leaving the lungs has higher concentration of oxygen that has been oxygenated and uh, lower concentration of uh, lower concentration of carbon dioxide it has been purified so that's how you answer that part of uh, question number five let's go have a look at quite part b of this question so part b we are told uh, name the blood vessel through which blood enters the lungs so the uh, the vessel is known as pan, uh, pulmonary artery pulmonary artery so that is the vessel where it end, uh, which brings a uh, blood into the lungs uh, uh, but say of the question we are told uh, explain why most athletes prefer uh, training from high altitude areas and you get yourself uh, three months so we can say high altitude uh, areas have low energy concentration and this makes the blood to produce more red blood cells which carry oxygen around the body uh, for respiration that means uh, uh, more energy is produced so we can say high altitude high altitude uh, areas have low concentration of uh, areas uh, have low concentration of oxygen uh, this forces the body uh, this makes the body to produce more red blood cells uh, more red blood cells uh, which carries oxygen around the body the body around the body for respiration Uh, this means that uh, this means that more energy is produced more energy is produced more energy is produced in the body in 
in the body. Um, in the body. So that's how you answer that. Uh, as a result of more red blood cells which carry oxygen, that means the rate of respiration is high, uh, making the body to produce more energy. So that's the reason why uh, the athletes prefer training from high altitude areas. That's how you answer that question. Uh, number five. 